Hi there, it's Richard McMahon here from the interview training company, passmyinterview.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to help you pass your quality control interview. Now, it does not matter whether you are being interviewed to become a quality control inspector, a quality control assessor, quality control manager, or even an administrator or coordinator. Please make sure you watch this tutorial fully from beginning to end because it will make a huge difference to your preparation. Now, to achieve that goal, this is what I'm going to cover. I'm going to give you a list of quality control interview questions that I recommend you prepare for. I will then give you sample brilliant answers to those interview questions to help you pass your QC interview. I will also tell you the qualities that you really must demonstrate throughout the duration of your quality control interview. And then I will also tell you where you can get access to further resources to help you succeed at your quality control interview. There's four really good reasons why you should watch this from beginning to end. Now, before I get into the quality control interview questions and top scoring answers, very warm welcome to this tutorial. My name is Richard McMahon. That is me there in the center of the screen. I've been helping people for over 20 years now to pass their interviews. And I always do that by giving you top scoring, unique answers you cannot find anywhere else. On that basis, please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the training videos that I upload. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. And it's always good to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Please also make sure you give the video a like because that tells me you enjoy the content and I will therefore spend more time creating it for you. Okay, let's get into those quality control interview tips, the questions and the top scoring answers. The first question that we need to prepare for is, tell me about yourself and the skills and qualities you have that will be of benefit in this quality control role. Now, it's important we give a rock solid positive answer to this very first quality control interview question. Make sure you provide details of the skills, the qualities and the experience you have that will add value to their organization. And that's what we should be trying to do throughout the interview is answer the questions by demonstrating we can add value to their business within this quality control role. Here's my suggested answer. I have many years experience working in difficult and challenging environments where the need for robust and professional quality control standards are the norm. I am someone who always works to high standards and I will ensure at all times the work I carry out is in sync with the commercial goals and objectives of your organisation. The skills and qualities I possess that will make me effective in this quality control job position include confidence in my abilities, outstanding technical skills and also a thorough understanding of the quality control processes and how it fits into a variety of different scenarios. I also possess good leadership, planning and organisational skills and the ability to work as part of a team whilst building strong professional relationships with those I am working alongside. I firmly believe that if you hire me in this quality control position today, you'll be impressed with my strong work ethics and standards and also my ability to make a fast positive difference to your organisation and the processes you utilise for quality control standards. I like that answer because you are demonstrating that you have the necessary skills, the qualities and the attributes to succeed within the role and you are also showing how you will add value to their organisation, which is really, really important. The majority of candidates will just give a short answer to that very first question, but that type of answer will make you stand out. I can guarantee that. Now, you can either pause the video if you want to and take note of these questions and the answers, or if you want to wait, I will tell you where you can download my full set of 23 quality control, sorry, quality control interview questions and top scoring answers. Now, the next question is, why do you want to work for us? So very few candidates carry out sufficient research to answer this question confidently. After you've researched their business, provide genuine and honest reasons why you want to work for them in this quality control job role. Here's a great answer for you to use for this interview question. Why do you want to work for us? As we all know, to be effective in any quality control or quality assurance role, you not only need to be highly competent in your work, but you also need a supportive employer 
who always insists on the highest standards achievable. Now, prior to applying for this quality control job, I researched your organisation in detail to make sure not only could I make a positive difference to your business, but to also make sure I would be supported in my work. You clearly have an outstanding reputation. And you also understand how important quality control is to the long-term success of your business. I would feel immensely proud to work here within this role. And although I have not yet been offered the job, I already feel excited about the prospect of starting work here. That's another brilliant answer to that quality control job interview question, why do you want to work for us? Now, don't go anywhere because I still have a number of QC interview questions and answers to work through. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it will take you through to my page at passmyinterview.com where you can download my full set of 23 quality control job interview questions and top scoring answers. Here is the next question. In your own words, what is quality control and what are the different quality management principles involved? This is a tough question. Keep your definition of quality control concise and simple before providing them with the different principles that encompass it. Here's a great answer to this tough interview question. Quality control is basically a system that is designed to maintain specific standards within products, goods and or services. It is achieved by usually testing a sample product against the initial determined specification. The different principles of quality management start out with customer focus. It is essential you start with the customer because you need to establish what their needs are but also the quality standards you have to work towards. The next principle is leadership. This involves establishing a purpose for quality control and also providing direction to the quality control team. It is vital everybody knows what the driving factors are for quality control processes and also the end goal. The next principle is engaging with people. Now, strong communication skills are needed within quality control because it is important all messages put out within the organisation are clear, concise and also indicative of the high standards expected. The next principle is process approach. Now, this is where the process of quality control and management is implemented, which will normally be by way of written procedures and policies. The next principle is improvement and decision making. Improvement is a continual process and decisions have to be made based on facts and evidence alone. Relationship management is the final quality principle. Strong relationships within an organisation allow for quality control standards to be easily managed and professional standards maintained. Now again, that is an in-depth answer, but it demonstrates that you really do know what you're talking about. You know in simple terms what quality control is, and you also know the different principles that encompass it. The next question is, what would you do within the first few weeks of starting in this quality control job role? Now, I love this interview question because it is aimed at finding out which candidates are really prepared for the job. Most people will not be able to answer it confidently or competently, but you're going to be different. Here's a brilliant answer to this question. I would aim to carry out five important tasks within the first four weeks of starting work. First of all, I would obtain a clear brief from you, the senior management team, to ascertain your commercial objectives and to also learn how my work within quality control should fit into these. Secondly, I would assess the current quality control measures and procedures that are in place throughout the organisation and then draw up a plan of how to improve these if required and also to ensure high standards are maintained moving forward. Thirdly, I would get to know my team and the people within the organisation who have a responsibility for creating the products and services. This would be important as I would want to assess the current attitude towards quality control and whether or not people are encouraged to report issues or defects as and when they arise. Following the first few weeks in the role, I would then ensure I worked closely with people to monitor quality control processes and also react positively and proactively to any problems or issues that may arise. That answer is brilliant because it shows that you already have a plan in place of what you're going to do when you start working there. It's a brilliant answer. The next one is, how would you deal with conflict with someone in the organisation? This is a common quality control interview question. And it's common because conflict can sometimes occur 
on lots of occasions within quality control because some people view the process of quality control as a hindrance. And on that basis, you have to be able to resolve conflict quickly and efficiently. Here's my suggested answer. I would deal with conflict head on by trying to resolve it quickly. Any form of conflict can have a negative effect on a team and the organisation. Therefore, it is important to establish the root cause of the conflict with a view to resolving it quickly and amicably. I would speak to the person whom the conflict is with in private to try and find out what the issue was. I would then assess my own actions to see if I were contributing to the conflict. And if that was the case, I would change the way I was acting if appropriate. If the conflict was down to someone having issues with the quality control processes we have in the organisation, I would set about educating them in respect of how QC was so important within any organisation. I would use practical examples of how quality control can help an organisation to succeed and also how it can help employees and staff to gain greater job satisfaction in the knowledge that the quality work they were carrying out was of benefit to the team and the wider business as a whole. So that shows that you're not afraid to deal with conflict, but you will deal with it professionally, um, amicably, and also with a view to educating the person in respect of how quality control um, can have a positive impact within an organisation. So the next thing for you to do is to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. It takes you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, which is here. And you can see here I've listed 23 quality control interview questions and top scoring answers, including the five that I've covered today. Please make sure you study those interview questions. I've also provided you with some tips on how to pass your quality control interview and your common questions answered. How do I prepare for a quality control interview? What questions are asked in quality control interviews? And I've also given you three questions that I recommend you ask at the end of your QC interview. Don't forget that guide is applicable to all quality control job roles, including manager, inspector, assessor, every single quality control role you can think of. The answers are perfect for that interview. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please subscribe, connect with me on LinkedIn and also hit the like button. Other than that, have a brilliant day and I wish you all the best for passing your quality control job interview. Thank you very much.